All right, I was working on one of my uh, Red Wiggler bins <clears throat> indoors, and I noticed there was a lot of, I don't know if they'll jump on me now, but when I was working on it, they were like jumping all over me, these red mites. Of course they won't jump on me now. So anyways, well, there's some on my hand. Just from barely touching. Okay, I know we can focus here. Anyway, just barely touching the soil. The bedding. I've already uh, <clears throat> fed them up and everything, so I'm going to do an experiment with bread. It's plain old bread. And uh, I'll come back in the next uh, day or so and check up on this and see uh, if it uh, captured any red mites and if so, how many. Okay. Seeing a few. All right, it's been about a week since checking up or since putting that bread down for the mites. I forgot all about it to check it. Uh, well, I did check it the day after and nothing had happened, but uh, looking at it now, there's just, doesn't look like anything's happening. Put some light on it. Oh, it just looks like the bird is getting moldy, and it's soft. Oh, I guess there are some mites on it. Hang on, let me get my glove on. I didn't think it was gonna be doing anything. Can't tell, I guess, from looking at it <clears throat> one way from the top. Okay. Whoops. Alright, it's moldy. It's gushy. There are some mites on it. I wouldn't say that there's a ton of mites on it. There's also, right there, there's a cocoon. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it uh, in this bin. Let it disintegrate. And let's look at this piece of bread here. Same thing, it's been disintegrating. There's some mold around the edges. There's some mites here. See on this side. Well, they do attract mites, but I don't know, maybe if I would have gotten to this sooner. But right now it's just falling apart. So I'll just leave it here, leave it here for the worms to eat. And besides mold, it looks like it's uh, turning into goo. So the worms will eat it eventually. Okay, well, that wasn't a very good experiment, Andy. But thank you for coming on this journey with me.